So now we're going to discuss all the dead dino juice that makes this possible. Oil. So as you can see, the discharge line going into this big oil separator here, this big cylinder, this is going to separate the oil back out of the refrigerant. Now the separator might have the filter inside of it, or there might be a separate filter. In this case, the filter is inside the separator. The floats on the bottom there. And this little pipe here, the oil line is coming out, going up, and into our oil reservoir. And on this one, they put a sight glass in line so you can see the oil flowing into the reservoir, going in the top, and you have sight glasses to check your oil level. From there, it's going to go out of the reservoir. It's going to flow over, and there's a T coming to each oil regulator on the side of the compressor, which you can adjust the oil level individually in each compressor. You can kind of see the oil sight glass in there. And each compressor is going to get one of those in order to keep the oil levels all happy. So the next time you're eating some frozen chicken tenders, thank a dinosaur. We'll get into all the specific components in later videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.